And Alex always said that the contestants are the stars of Jeopardy. So that may be, but now the new host has found himself in what you could call double Jeopardy. Magician Prospero has a First, there was the fan frustration. The plays. After an extended run of guest hosts, the surprising announcement of executive producer Mike Richards. I mean, if you're trying to screw up the legacy of a long-running show, this is the textbook now on how to do it. Did Aaron Rodgers know or did uh, Ken Jennings know that uh, they were competing for this job or LeVar Burton or everyone else? against the executive producer of the show. A fun final Jeopardy category. In fact, Richard selected American which episodes the team choosing yes, the new host would watch. Why not appeal to this demographic that you haven't before? This TV and film critic doesn't think LeVar Burton got a fair shot and has questions. The Jeopardy uh, people behind the scenes, the, what they put out when they hired him is, we did the analysis and this is the guy our people want. It's like, well, if you did your analysis, wouldn't you have found what he said? That are smart what she's referring to are reports that Richards used racist and offensive so language, objectifying women on a 2013-2014 podcast. Like booby pictures? What are we looking at? And as the executive producer of Price is Right, Richards was involved in three discrimination lawsuits. Today, Richards apologized, saying, Looking back now, there is no excuse, of course, for the comments I made. I am deeply sorry. Claire McNear literally wrote the book on Jeopardy and broke the story on Richard's actions. She says the current controversy highlights what made Alex Trebek so effective. He was sort of this mysterious cipher-like figure um, where, you know, we knew bits and pieces. And of course, we, he, he came across this very erudite, very well-educated person who could probably win any game of Jeopardy on any given night. Sony Pictures has declined to comment while cameras roll on the first official taping with Mike Richards behind the podium. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.